In 2004, astronomers using the Hubble Space Telescope pointed its lens at what looked like nothing. A seemingly empty patch of sky near the Big Dipper, no brighter than a grain of sand held at arm's length. But after hundreds of hours of exposure, the images revealed something astonishing. Thousands of ancient galaxies packed into a spot the size of a pinhead. It was called the Hubble Ultra Deep Field, and it stunned the world. Overnight, our understanding of the early universe shifted. We were peering into the infancy of everything. Fast forward nearly two decades later, it's Christmas Day, 2021. A rocket launches into the skies, carrying the Webb Telescope, Hubble's bigger, sharper, more ambitious successor. Scientists around the globe held their breath. Webb wasn't just a new telescope, it was a time machine designed to explore the very first light of the universe. But nobody was prepared for what came next. In 2023, Webb peered deep into the cosmos as part of its JADES mission, the Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey. And what it found left experts stunned. Among 717 newly detected galaxies, far older and farther than anything previously seen, were several massive, well-structured galaxies that had no business being there. Why? Because they break the rules. According to our most trusted models, galaxies like these should have taken billions of years to form. In theory, only small, dim dwarf galaxies should have existed 500 to 850 million years after the Big Bang. There simply shouldn't have been enough regular matter, atoms, gas, dust, to form giants resembling modern galaxies. And yet, there they were. Astrophysicist Ivo LeBay and his team were combing through Webb's early release images when they stumbled across the unthinkable. One galaxy in particular caught their eye. It was 13.1 billion light years away, and based on its brightness and mass, it appeared to contain the equivalent of 100 billion stars. LeBay recalled the moment with disbelief. I ran the data through the software. It returned two numbers, distance and mass. <sighs> I almost spat out my coffee. <laughs> We had just discovered the impossible. What started as a celebration of technological triumph quickly transformed into a cosmic riddle. Impossibly early, impossibly massive. That's the best way to describe these galaxies. And now you understand why astrophysicist Ivo Labe didn't use the word impossible lightly. To make sense of what Webb discovered, the early universe would have needed to be far denser than we thought up to five times more matter packed into it than current models predict. Either that, or these galaxies formed through a process so unfamiliar that it doesn't even exist in our theoretical playbook. Whichever way you slice it, these findings pushed scientists into a cosmic corner. Both explanations demand something radical, a fundamental rewrite of how we believe the universe evolved. By just 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, there were at least six massive galaxies, each containing about 10 billion, and in one case, 100 billion solar masses. The structures Webb uncovered quickly earned a new nickname among astronomers, <laughs> Universe Breakers. And as wild as that name sounds, it turned out to be just the beginning. Soon after, another galactic anomaly came into focus. Jade's GS Z-14-0, a galaxy that existed just 290 million years after the Big Bang. It too was too big and too mature for its age. Then came Sears 2112, a galactic doppelganger of the Milky Way with a fully developed central bar and a mass 10 times greater than our home galaxy, already in place 11.1 billion years ago. These are not isolated anomalies. They're part of a growing pattern that's putting our standard model of cosmology under intense pressure. And as more of these cosmic rule breakers appear, some researchers are beginning to wonder out loud have we gotten the origin story of the universe completely wrong? Let's take a step back. The Big Bang isn't just a buzzword, it's the backbone of modern cosmology. 
In its simplest form, it describes the universe's birth, the sudden appearance of space, time, and matter from an infinitely small, hot, and dense singularity. Everything we see today, from stars to galaxies to ourselves, supposedly unfolded from that one moment. We know this event happened around 13.8 billion years ago, thanks largely to the fact that the universe is still expanding. But it's not expanding into space. Space itself is stretching outward. Reverse that expansion in your mind, and you eventually reach a point of infinite density and zero volume. The strongest evidence supporting this theory is the Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation, or CMB, a faint uniform glow that fills the universe left over from roughly 380,000 years after the Big Bang. It's like the universe's baby photo, and it confirms a hot, dense, early phase. But there's a twist, and it's a big one. Here's what most people don't realize. Our models don't actually describe the Big Bang itself, not the exact moment it all began. Instead, they focus on what happened just after, between one Planck time, the smallest meaningful unit of time in physics, and about 400,000 years later. In other words, science skips over the first moment and picks up the story just after the opening credits. So if our understanding of the beginning is already blurry and galaxies are forming way too early and way too big, the real question is, what if the Big Bang, as we know it, is just the best story we've come up with so far, but not the right one. The Planck time, the shortest measurable slice of time, just 10 to the minus to fourth you three seconds after the supposed beginning of everything, is still completely shrouded in mystery. It marks the point where all known physical laws break down. Beyond that, we're flying blind. And while the Big Bang theory still holds strong in mainstream science, it's far from bulletproof. One of its biggest blind spots is also its most fundamental. Why did the universe even begin? How did something erupt from what appears to be absolutely nothing? Can nothing really give rise to everything? Did something set it all in motion? Or was it simply an unfathomable cosmic coincidence? These are the questions that leave even the sharpest minds scratching their heads and searching for other possibilities. Let's talk about cosmic inflation. This is the idea that the universe didn't just expand after the Big Bang, it exploded outward at an unimaginable rate within a fraction of a second. But even this widely accepted concept has its skeptics. For some, inflation feels more like a placeholder than a proven mechanism. Enter Andre Linde, a Russian cosmologist with a bold twist. Back in the 1980s, he proposed that inflation might not have stopped at all. Instead, he suggested that it's still happening, just not everywhere. According to Linde, inflation ends in isolated bubbles, and each bubble becomes its own separate universe with unique physical laws and constants. If he's right, then what we call the universe is just one bubble in a vast, frothing multiverse, an infinite sea of cosmic worlds, each one playing by its own rules. But that's not the only idea on the table. Some scientists believe our universe is part of a never-ending cycle. In this model, there's no singular beginning or end, just an eternal loop of birth, death, and rebirth. Instead of a big bang, they propose a big crunch, a future moment when gravity overwhelms dark energy, causing the universe to stop expanding and start collapsing in on itself. Eventually, all matter could be crushed into a supermassive black hole, a dense singularity swallowing everything. But from that unimaginable pressure, something new might be born. A new cosmos, a new Big Bang, a big bounce. That's not all. Physicist Nikodem Popwaski from the University of New Haven has his own extraordinary theory. He suggests that our entire universe exists inside a black hole. According to Popolavsky, at the heart of some colossal black hole, a tiny, dense seed may have formed and eventually exploded, birthing our universe. If true, then black holes aren't just cosmic graves, they're gateways, one-way tunnels connecting different universes. Think about that. Every black hole in our universe could be the origin point of a brand new cosmos, each with its own version of time, space, and reality. 
course, as mind-bending as these theories are, none of them, not even the Big Bang, can fully answer the deepest questions. What came before? And more importantly, why did it happen? The legendary physicist Stephen Hawking once argued that asking what came before the Big Bang is meaningless because time itself began with it. Before time? There was no before. But then again, maybe even that belief is just one web discovery away from collapsing. So, as we continue this journey through space, time, and beyond, keep your eyes on the sky and your curiosity alive. The universe is whispering secrets. All we have to do is keep listening.